What's up guys? Uh, today I'm doing a quick video on my floor mats for both of my vehicles. On the right right here I have the weather techs that have been in my G8 for about three or four years now. And on the left I have my Huskies that have been in my truck for just over a year. I'd say about a year and four months now. I'm going to do a basic review on how they've held up, uh, which one I like more, build quality and all that good stuff. So we'll start out with the weather techs. Uh, like I said, these weather techs have been in my G8 for about eight years now, so some of them are stained. Uh, I'll also go ahead and tell you, both these are the driver's side since they get the most use. I figured fair comparison, use the side that gets the most use. So. The right side is the weather techs out of my G8. As you can see, they actually don't lock into place. Uh, they just sit on the floor. Uh, when I order these, the picture showed that they locked into place. However, they do not. Uh, there's no real way to lock these in. Uh, there's also no spikes on the bottom, so it does slide around a little bit, which is annoying. Uh, they do do a good job keeping the floor clean from water and mud and stuff, which is nice, uh, which is the main reason why I got them. However, I do wish they did clip in place so that they didn't slide around as much. Now, also, you can see there's a lot of warping here on the sides of the WeatherTech. Now, the WeatherTech doesn't sit flat, unlike the Husky. Uh, the heat has distorted them, uh, and honestly, when they came out of the box, they never really bent back into shape like they should have so this warp has always been here since the day I got it along with the two warps on this side it's never actually fit perfectly um, unlike the weather techs which have fit uh, they were a little warped when I put them in but they bent back to shape after a little while uh, build quality the weather techs actually are a little bit stiffer a little bit more dense of a rubber I guess uh, which should mean that they'd last longer and hold the shape better, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Um, the weather techs also, they don't hold the water or mud in quite as well as the Huskies do. Uh, there's no lip on the top up here. It's just a straight flat runoff. So when you go to take these out, uh, if there was mud or water in there, they'd dump out onto the floorboard easier than with the Huskies. Also, because they're more more rigid, and they don't bend as easily, uh, you have to pull them at a higher angle to get them out. Now, as you can see, these, when you bend, the whole thing bends. However, with this, the opposite corner does not flex as hard. So that's a quick go over for the weather techs. Let's jump over here to the Huskies. Uh, Husky ones, they are actually a little bit thinner than the weather techs, but they are a, a softer, more rubbery feel where these are harder rubber feel. Uh, these do clip into place. And as you can see, they clip into the OBM spots as well as they have the built-in grabbers or whatever you want to call them to sit. When it sits on the carpet, it actually holds it in place a lot better. Now uh, they just pop right out. It's not too hard of a pop. So if there's water in there, it's not going to splash out or anything. Now, they do have these runoffs. This is for my F-150. So they have a runoff that actually goes into the door a little bit. So if there was a spill or something, you could just grab the opposite corner and tilt it all out. And it just roll out of the truck. Uh, the part where your foot goes is a different texture than down here, which is a little bit nicer than with the weather techs. It's got the lines that are real deep. So your foot can fall into the groove and does sometimes get annoying, but it doesn't bother me too much. With the Huskies, it's got the diamond plate texture at the bottom where your foot is, so you don't slide around as much and there's no like groove for your foot to slide into. Uh, you will notice on the weather tech that the sticker has come off. Uh, the Husky has not. It's just a sticker, it's not a big deal. Uh, these are uh, a little bit more than twice as old now. So the sticker did just come off about six months ago. So it could happen for the Huskies too, I'm not saying it wouldn't, but it hasn't yet. Uh, if I had to buy again, I'd definitely purchase the Husky exact fit over the WeatherTechs. The Huskies just have a better build quality and they fit a lot better. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead, throw the, both these back in my cars and give you guys a close-up shot in there so you can really see what I mean with the waviness of the weather techs and the fit-up compared to the Huskies. So right here you can see that angle that these have to come in and out at. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you can bend the crap out of them. But if you do that, then this part folds so flat that if there was a spill in there, it'd come right out. So slide it in. And since I have a manual seat, I have to get it below that. But that's it, that's in. You can see there's still a lot of wiggle room on this mat. I'm gonna go ahead get you a closer shot. I'll show you that wiggle room. The Huskies don't have anywhere near as much wiggle room. You can see also if I pull it all the way back, there's a gap up front all the way around. If I push it all the way forward, I have a gap around the back. So there's real no perfect place for this to fit. You can come over here and you can see the waviness on the side well as how big of a gap that's about a three-quarter inch gap the whole way along here and I don't know a way to close it I've tried heating them up tried making them cooler there's nothing I can do to get rid of that gap all right let's head over to the f-150 all right let's go ahead and slide these huskies in now the huskies can be folded to come out straight this way however I just slide it in from the top once it gets in place get the front down go ahead and line up once one of these is lined up pops right in the other one pops right into place so you can see there's almost no movement just a little bit of flex from these clips go ahead show you the fit up you can see how it slides out under the door a little bit. This way, if there was a spill, it'd come right out. See, the fit is very tight along the sides and the bottom. And all the way to the back, the fit is extremely tight. So one more time for good measure, I'm going to show you the gap here on the G8. The gap is, like I said, anywhere between half to three quarter inch the whole way across. There's still a gap on the other side as well. This is with both the mats in my G8. None of the mats in my F-150 have a gap like this. Uh, those are Husky brand. These are WeatherTech. All right, guys. So to sum everything up, I picked the Huskies from the truck over the weather techs in my G8. Every day of the week, they fit better, they clip in place, uh, they're more flexible. As weird as that sounds, that's something I'd actually rather have. Uh, the weather techs don't fit as nicely, got the waviness to them. Uh, and like I said, it's been like that since day one when I put them in, and it's just gotten worse with time. Huskies have fit great the whole time. Uh, they actually cover more floor space than the weather techs. So if I was to purchase one again, I'd definitely get the Husky exact fit over the WeatherTechs. Uh, like I said, these WeatherTechs were the ones that clipped in place, supposedly, uh, when I ordered them. However, they don't. Um, the WeatherTechs, just honestly, even though it's a big name brand, it's been around, it doesn't seem to hold up quite as nice as the Huskies do. Uh, so if you're in the market for them, make sure you look into Husky, see if Husky makes them uh, for your vehicle. Definitely recommend getting the Huskies over the WeatherTechs. Uh, thank you guys. Please be sure to uh, subscribe, comment, like, share, do all that great stuff. Thank you guys for the support you've given me so far. I'm going to make sure I keep these videos coming. I'm going to actually do a video here soon for the setup I have for my new GoPro. Uh, this is the second video I've recorded with my GoPro. So please guys remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for all the love and support so far. Have a nice day.